Hello, um, well I'm back again and I've done my laden couch work on the stag Christmas stocking and now I am about to start doing the cruel stem stitch along the top the border here of the top of the um, Christmas stocking design. Now um, what I thought I would do first because I have looked on the pictures of the stag and the colour I'm going to be using is this lovely mustardy colour. It's an Appleton's wool and it's number 695. And I really think that's a beautiful colour. Um, and I want to do it justice. <laughs> so what I thought I would do is have a look first at the video that Philippa did in the summer when she was st first started doing these, um, these videos and started on the Christmas stockings for the grandchildren. And then also when you get your linen like this, the printed linen, you'll receive one of these, which is the essential guide to cruel work. And this will tell us some basics so I can have a look in here to make sure I do this cruel stem stitch right first time. So let's watch uh, Philippa's video now. So uh, I'm now going to work a cruel outline or cruel stem stitch along the top of here because I've actually finished this one. This is all the laid work and the couch work. So I'm going to take a double thread using um, just the normal stitching length, which is from the tip of the finger to the elbow. Fold that over again and snip that off. I have now found my scissors, you'll be all glad to know. I bounce the thread to make the, the threads nice and even. Pinch the fold, push the needle down over the fold, thread that through. Now, when you're stitching down a line, a good place to actually cast on is actually about up to an inch away from where you're going to start stitching. So I'm taking the thread down as usual, pull this one out of the way and pop that through. Now, to do a cruel stem stitch, you just come up at the top of the line and hold the loop down the shape and then take your needle down Hold the thread south like this with your second finger, then come halfway up, halfway back up that line and come through like that. So down, come back to the end of the first stitch, pinch and come through. Down, hold the loop south. So it's sort of like a back stitch. Although I hate comparing stitches because every country and every area of every country calls stitches a different thing. So I actually call this a cruel stem stitch. Now you could make them quite long because you're actually going along a straight line. So you can see that stitch is about three quarters of an inch long. And <clears throat> if they actually do uh, become slightly uneven, you can just pull one thread or the other. And if that ever happens, what I usually do is I take the needle down and then just pull each thread like that. It's quite good for you to see me completely mess it up. <laughs> but there are always ways of getting around everything. I always think it's a very forgiving medium. We'll just stay on this stitch for a minute, Richard. Now, just to point out before you leave me, I'm using the colour I used for the base here, but you could use this couching colour, doesn't matter at all. <clears throat> and um, Or you could do this by hand later without the, thre the frame on, you could easily do this without a frame. You don't need to outline down here because this is going to be the front of the stocking and it's going to have some sort of um, cord, which we could actually make from threads, which would be quite exciting. Right, well that was wonderful. That's given me a really good idea how to start. Uh, one thing I should say is that if you do want to find out a bit more about some of the basic stitches, the Philippa does have um, a playlist on YouTube of all the common um, crew work stitches. So that might be useful for if you're doing some other work as well. But to do this, we're starting off with a double thread. So I'm going to measure this out. I've got the, sh shaked my, uh, my wool and got the, the right, not the, not the, outside um, thread end but the inside thread doing it two lengths of my arm because it's going to be it's going to be uh, doubled over 
and I'm going to be using the silver uh, needle for this because we use silver needles when we're doing um, double thread. It's a little bit thicker needle and it's got a better eye I think as well which is wonderful for doing that. So let's get started. So like Philippa showed us in the video I'm going to sort of cast on here if that's the sewing term I mean that's the knitting term but <laughs> let's uh, get our wool in here using that loop from the double thread and then I'm going to go down doesn't help with all those little seeding stitches there does it never mind never mind so I'm going to the beginning and it was up pull that south stitch down Go back to the beginning of the stitch and pinch through. Go down, keep that south. Go to the beginning of the last stitch, pinch and pull through. Oh, that's looking very neat, isn't it? So take that south, go down. Go back to the beginning of the first stitch, pinch, go down, south, keep that south, go to the beginning of the next past stitch. Oh, oh, we're zooming along here, aren't we? This is a very fast stitch, isn't it? And I'm running out of all quite quickly. I'm just a bit concerned that those seeding stitches there are showing and I might ask Philip should I do it where I oh oh actually if I move them they disappear I was going to say do we need to do two two rows of this um of this stitch but maybe not do you just fluff them up and it covers things oh that is fantastic well the reason why I wanted to get this the hang of this here is because the next thing we're moving on to will be um, the clouds, which I can just show you here. I'll just move, move this here. And you can see these clouds here are all going to be done with cruel stem stitch. And there's some curves. And Philip is going to give me some little tips on how to get the curves right here. Um, so once I've mastered this bit here, I'll have a word with Philippa, find out about the curves, and I'll get back to you and we'll start doing that. So. Of the weekend, I shall be practicing my cruel stem stitch. Um, maybe, maybe making my stitches a bit shorter, do you think? Mm, I don't know, they look quite nice long, don't they? Um, and we'll carry on with this beautiful design. And if you purchase the linen um, in November or December this year, which is 2020, um, you will also receive a bag of wools to start you off on the, on this stitching. So look forward to speaking to you next week when we'll be going on to the lovely, lovely clouds. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.